the body on your head, girl. Because I need a man. <laughs> so, okay, listen. It is your choice, but you need a man. You want to keep the body on your head, you can buy it. Heck no, that man going to go on and get my hair done, Kendra. I, I, oh, you want and I also wanted to tell you that I love you. I love you more. But wait, what no. you say about the man getting your hair done? Maybe he could get my hair done and I can take the bond oh. off. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I understand the motivation. So the motivation behind this bonnet is I'm looking for a man that's going to pay to get my hair done. Exactly. No, not like not like that, Kendra. Come on now. I, I'm in the I'm in the house relaxing. Leave me alone, because you sound like Monique. <laughs> well, hold on. You're not in the house. This is the thing. you in the house, but you're not really in the house. you in front of the world. So if you cool with it, I'm cool with it. But I think sometimes I ain't gonna put, so no, I ain't gonna put no wig on the night for the whole world. Well, girl, girl, this is my why can't, I be, world. why can't I be me? This you can, listen, boy, you can do you to the 10,000th degree. I just want to reconfirm that you're not in the house. You want the internet in front of thousands of people. But if you're cool, let's go. All right, yeah, follow me a man, please. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your name? <laughs> Come on, Kendra, don't play with no, me. No, what's your name? We going. We My name, what's your name, name is Karen Kaya. Karen Kaya. I live, I live in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. I live in Philadelphia. You know what? Let me tell you something. I, I probably would have guessed the city. People always think that I became, I'm from Connecticut. People think Chicago made me a gangster. No, Philadelphia made me a gangster. <laughs> Philadelphia mean? gave me my gangster stripes. Right. So I already know, I don't mess with women from Philadelphia and Chicago. They on the list too. Detroit yes. too. Uh, right. But Philadelphia is what made me hood with it. But back to you. So care Philadelphia, how old are you? I'm 59. Oh, you look really Really good. I did not think 59. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, little war zones and stuff go on my page. I can't get pretty now. <laughs> Do you have any kids? Karen, you have any kids? Yes, I have two girls and one boy. Everybody 10 years apart. You watch her. She gonna watch him, and I'm gonna be back. Okay. All by the same man? Um, all by the same man, no. And I ain't ashamed to say it. Because you know, you know how the world goes. How many men? Two. Two. Okay. How old are your kids? My oldest daughter is thirty-five. The middle daughter is twenty-six, and my son is fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So this is Kira, Philadelphia, and fifty-nine. Two girls, one boy. Um, what do you do for a living, Kira? I'm an entrepreneur. I, I, I'm get actually there, get there. What was that word you just used? What? Say it again. Entrepreneur. Is that how you Wait, say it? Say, say it one more time, Karen. Are you making fun of me or are you just like the way I talk? Well, I'm trying to see if you're saying the word right. I think the word is Am I saying it right? Entrepreneur? I, I think it's entrepreneur. Okay, well, you said it for me. Now listen, no. What kind, of, okay, I, I, what kind of business do you have, Karen? It's actually not a business. It's, it's my self-made business. I, I'm Muslim, so I make overgarments for me or whoever, you know, don't have, can't afford it or anything like that. I do have a heart now, so. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just, All right, so this is Karen, Karen Philadelphia, 59. What's your birthday or zodiac sign? Birthday, July the 8th. I'm a cancer. A cancer. All right, Karen, let's get to it now. Karen what Philadelphia, is? she's an entrepreneur, 59, cancer, three children. What kind of man are you looking for? I'm just looking for somebody that can give me great knowledge in, in my religion, which is Islam. Um, I mean, you don't have to give me no money, not that much money, and, and no arguing and no kiki kiki and all that dumb stuff. If you're going to cheat, ain't no system coming being in my face. You feel me? So no cheating. Be honest with you. Just be honest. That's all. If he's honest and he got other women, you staying? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bad enough for Muslim and, we, and my husband can have four wives. I'm just saying, like, I just need a man. 
Like, I, I really don't like the poly, you know, I am Muslim. I really don't like that. So I prefer to be with, with you know, me to be the only woman. Because I'm not, I'm not used to being poly. I got to really get into that, which I do read my Quran to help me out, you know. But so I, I religious, so your religion says that your husband can't have more than one wife. He can. How long have you been practicing this religion for? It's been 12, 13 oh, years. Okay. I've been to, I've been to Cairo, Egypt. I went over there to, to get married and all of that. So in that 12, 13 years, have you dealt with that situation? Have you had a man that you were accepting of him having other women? Uh just the one that I went over Cairo, Egypt to marry. Oh, you got married? Yeah, I got married. I was the third wife, and it was kind of like, I didn't like it. When did you leave? Uh, I went there in 2016. I, I only stayed for like about a month because it was almost time for Ramadan and all of that. So now it's like hard for him to come over to the U.S. So I need a man here. So wait, are you still legally married? Um. I mean, I asked for a divorce, but he says he didn't accept it, so. So how long has this been for? It has to be about five, six years. So I don't know how this works with your religion. So are you still legally married in the United States, or this is only an agreement in his country? I'm just legally married in Islam. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I didn't. Did you get married again? Can I get married again? Yeah. Well, since he said that we was that we never got a divorce, I have to ask him again. If he say no, then I can't. You know what I mean? So, so if a guy meets you, he has to know that you're legally married to someone else. Well, if he understand Islam, yeah. We go ahead. You know, I got a problem. Like this is interesting because. Married people, I've, I've been trying, I always toy with separation, marriage, but I never met a person in your situation. So you were third wife that's asking to be released and he has to agree. If he doesn't agree, you can't do nothing about it? Well, yeah, that's that's in our religion, it can't, it, you know. And you only Actually, did it for a month? Excuse me? You only, been, you, you only went up for one month? No, I've been with him for a while, a long time. I just was in Egypt for a you month. Egypt for a month. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, when's the last time you saw him? Well, we talk on the phone like me and you talking now. When's the last time you saw him in person? But, um, in 2016, because it's hard for him to get over here, Kendra. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it the right way. Like, I'm, if it, if it can't be, then you're going to have to help me. <laughs> So what if, okay, so what do you say to the guy that's watching that knows you got a whole husband what? in a different country? What would you say to the guy that's concerned about that? Hi, Karen. Well, I would just have to, I, I would just have to handle that. You know what I mean? Okay. Let you me know. continue. So what's some deal breakers for you? I I, I actually says I'm Muslim. I would like a nice Muslim man, you know, that fears God and just nice, just nice, and just so, you know take take me all over the world. Let's go. So would that Muslim man be okay that you have another Muslim husband? No, he wouldn't. It's just that I, I like, like I said, I would handle that. How 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 do you handle it? It's a certain thing that, you know, I have to like once, you know, when a Muslim woman get married to a to a man and they give, give you like a dowry, a dowry could be a house, a car, you know, or whatever. So whatever he gave me, I'm going to give it back. That's all. What did he give you? He gave me knowledge and he gave me some money. I ain't going to tell you how much he gave me, but he gave me a lot of money. Okay, so you're going to give the money back to order to get a divorce. Exactly. That's why I said I'm going to get it right. You know what I mean? Do you still have the money? A little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
I'm, I'm so educated tonight. I'm gonna get okay. it. I'm gonna get the. I'll have all of it, but I will get some of some of the money from my niece Toria and Leonard, and her her, her husband Leonard. I'm gonna get it from them. Oh God! So I can oh God! Be completely, okay, so I can be completely paid off. Okay, when it's paid off, so you got to so you got to buy your way out of the marriage, basically. Same thing that he gave me. I have to give it back if I want a divorce. Got you. Okay. Okay, so you don't got to yeah. tell us the amount. You don't got to tell us the amount. Let's keep going. So does the guy that you're desiring now, does he have to look a certain way? Well, you know, ugly guys is nice guys. They nice. They give you anything you want. No, they don't got to be a certain way. You, they don't have to look a certain way. Just not too all, all like, shit, I'm bad enough. I look like this, shit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Karen. All right. right. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Yeah. How much he got to make? Enough for me to, to buy me my son, since he's the youngest, a house, uh, a car, if, if it's my time to go. I don't want nobody, no woman putting my son out. Oh, you got to go. I want to make sure my son, all right, go to college. He got to give me enough money for all that. You hear me? So what is your son's father? Why can't he do that? He's dead. Okay. I'm sorry. What happened? I, I don't know. It's just like lung, something to do with lungs, you know, and all that. Okay. Well, sorry yeah. to hear that your son's father's passed on. But let mm. me just ask you this. What? So the new man has to buy your son a house? No, you got to give me the money. I'll buy the house. He so we have to give you me. enough money to buy your son a house. Yeah, he got to have enough money for, for all of that. Yeah, yeah. For real. A ain't that what all women want? I don't want my nails. I'll get my nails done myself. I <laughs> oh, 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 okay, so this ain't even about the figure. You got to have enough money to buy her son a house. Just that's enough money to take care of me and my son, okay? So, he got to make a lot of money to do that. Yeah, of course, I guess. Okay. Okay. You going to so, get him for me? We get about me. to find out. Now, you know, the whole world watches. So, let's see if he going to, let's see if this magical man going to reach out to you. But you got to do the kids or camp, Karen. What I got to do? I ain't getting up. Get your ass up. Get your ass up, Karen. Now, you already got the show go. You know how the show go. Get your ass up. You got to do the Kendra Cam. Kendra, all you go, listen, listen, all you going to see, you going to see this belly, right? Well, get it's, your ass up because we got to see the belly because you got to do the Kendra Cam, Karen, now. I done let Kendra. you on the show as you a whole wife. And you got a husband in a whole different country. But I done Kendra. let your ass sit up here. I done let your ass sit up here and say you got to need a man that's going to buy your son a house. You going to get your ass up. We doing the Kendra Cam. Kendra. But you got to understand, I'm Muslim. I ain't really, really supposed to be showing myself. Girl, you call me. You call me. I ain't call you. Kendra, I can't show you. Let me show you something. Big Mama Cheeseburger is a big one. You hear? I can't. Baby, baby. <laughs> Stop playing, Kendra. I, you know, I ain't supposed to do that. You got to start. Hold uh, on, hold on, hold on. You got to stop it. Hold on. You 59. You a grown-ass woman. You familiar with my show. You call me. I ain't call you. So whatever you ain't supposed to do, that's on you. Take responsibility. I don't know you. You call me. And the Take rules are the same for every guest. Okay, well, you got your rules. You right. Okay. Because if I had a show... You would dog on sure do what I asked you. Now I you right. Call your ass. If I had a show, I'm not calling you. Yes, you would. <laughs> what not? <laughs> Stop okay, playing. Karen, we almost what? done. Let me finish. So when <laughs> shit, you married, but when was your last relationship? Well, see, I'm 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 like real, real, like I'm I'm scared of the diseases and stuff. So we're gonna say it was actually my husband and Egypt. Egypt, for real. So you might as well say I'm celibate. Like, if anybody get this Katie Pearl, they're going to be happy. So, okay, you don't have to answer, but when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, 
2020. 2020. Okay. So, Karen, let me ask you this. Now, I respect what? your religion. So, you say you're not supposed to show me yourself because you're a Muslim woman. So, I respect that. But as a Muslim woman, can you find another man while you're still married? Uh, actually, I can look. Oh, okay. All right. So, Karen, why, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Why would he like me? Why would he be lucky to be with you? Let me tell you something. I'm from Louisiana. I could cook. I clean myself. Is I'm clean. I'm I'm clean. Um, that's down there, right there, is good, <laughs> baby, baby. It's good. good. The guy that I was, <laughs> the guy that I was with in 2020, he was a little younger than me. So I kind of like had to like scoot him on out, put him out because he was stuck. Make sure you don't get no little crazy one like that. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, what's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Everybody Karen, laughing what's at the me. Age range you, what you would date? The age range, um, I don't no, I like young boys, so let's start at uh, my daughter age, 26. 20? You go all the way to 26, Karen? Baby. Baby, they last longer. Come on. 26 to uh, to uh, 36. Go on now. What's the next question? 20, so you would date somebody your daughter's age, Karen? Why not? Age ain't nothing but a number. It could be your child. That ain't my child. It ain't my child. Why would I date my child? Go on now, girl. Now, I Come on now. The age is the, uh, the so you would date your daughter's friend. Everybody on this live know that age ain't nothing but a number. Come on, y'all, hit me. Uh, uh Kendra, don't do that. Uh, oh, okay, okay. All right, so Karen, I'm, I like to have fun too. I like to have fun though, Kendra. Seriously, I like to have fun. I would like a man, you know, to let's enjoy each other. You feel me? And it's a lot of young boys out there that's more intelligent, you know, that, that mentality is, is a little bit uh, higher than them old men because them old men act retarded. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, and they ain't working um, with nothing either. They, they doing that. Shit. All right. Well, this is Karen. In yes, baby. Philadelphia. 59 yes. is a cancer. Three kids. They're grown. She'll date 26 to 36. Does a guy gotta be in Philly? No. So does he, does he gotta fly you out if he's not in Philly? Well, we could take turns. Okay. Um, she is a Muslim woman. She does have a husband. Where's your husband located? Right now he's in Liberia. He's in Liberia, but once she gets her money back to give him back the money he gave her when he married her, she's gonna get a divorce. Her niece gonna help her out. What's your niece's name again? Toria and Leonard. Toria and Leonard. Get Give your auntie the damn money so you can a free woman. Tell him, right, Toria, tell him, Get tell that him. money together. Yes. Um, also, the new man has to be able to buy her son a house. So you have to have enough money to give. Now, he's got to get the down payment for your son or he has to pay the whole house off. No, that, that man got to put that money in my hand. So Don't put it the in the house. Don't put it. Huh? Well, listen, is it the down payment or the whole house? The, no. I don't want a down payment. I want the money for the whole house. Might be two houses. We ain't doing all that. How much does the house I, cost? Like, give me a number about, is that like over, like, what is it, like 200000 Actually, that yeah, would be up to me. That would be up to my son. I just want him to be good if I'm going. So what's if I'm a good going. house in Philadelphia cost? I actually don't know. Maybe uh, over 100000 I don't know. Okay, so to be be clear, he has to be able to give you that money, though, right? Exactly. Don't sit it on a dresser. Don't sit it on the table. Put it in my hand. So about $100,000 you have to give her. Exactly. Uh, when you I'm, give, this man I'm, I'm giving the man me. You got to give me something. Come on now. I'll keep it a bee. Don't so what are you look around, Kendra. So, wait, Karen, I want to make sure I understand. Yeah. So, he has to give you $100,000. Not because, like, some women ask I for 100 k 
a year, I, man. You saying fuck that? You gotta hundred k. <laughs> he gotta give me enough to take care of me and my son. Well, that, that's one thing. But you said he wanted to buy your son a house, and you want the whole yeah. house paid for. So he has to have an extra hundred thousand dollars to give you. Is that how much that costs, Kendra, to uh to 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 for, to pay the house off and stuff? Yeah, cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a realtor. I'm, I don't know nothing okay. about that deal. Someone is saying, okay, so someone is saying it's about twenty k. Someone saying a down payment. You need a, so you want me to give you about twenty k cash? Okay, he can do that. Thank you, baby. Whoever helps me out. But, uh, but then someone says the whole house is gonna be about two hundred thousand. So I want to be clear: is the expectation for him to give you the down payment for the house, or to pay the entire house off? The entire your house Kendra. okay so she don't want the down payment people so she wants so can y'all figure out how much a decent house costs in philadelphia once you get that number that's the amount of money he has to be able to give to you yeah do you do drugs karen no i do not you never, you never you didn't smoke no weed nothing no we get me paranoid honey so you sober I, you didn't drink no alcohol today no, so you, is, I just woke up. This is you. This is all. This is this sober. Oh, Karen, like this is me. I'm, I'm me. I don't, I don't do. No, I might drink a glass of wine, but mm -mm, I don't do no drugs. I ain't with that. Mm -mm. Okay, so I, I want to make sure that you're not inebriated. You know, you are in right mind. <laughs> no, I'm in my. <laughs> you probably say because that's how I am. My family be like, oh, she off the chain. Karen, girl, be Karen. So they say you have not because you ask not. So, um, according exactly. to the, the scripture, you have to yes, ask. Please. A closed mouth does not get fed. So, we have exactly. the requirement, if that's what it is, either you come yes. correct or you don't come at all. Yes. And you're doing a good job at your, what you do, Kendra. I really love it. Thank you so much. When you meet this man, can you please call me back? Yes, I will. Yes, I, I will. I do. Yeah, All right. and you make sure you tell him to help me out, Kendra. Well, you tell him yourself. He's watching the video right now, so you already made it clear what the requirements are. So that's Listen here, man. If you can't do it, don't do it. All right, yeah, Karen, give them your Facebook page. Oh, uh, my Facebook page is L Karen period Kaya three ninety five. And there you have it, Karen. Mm -hmm. If I ever come to Philadelphia, I'm gonna look your ass up. Look me up, Kendra, so we can go on out and have us a nice time. Yes, I, I, I think I would have a lot of fun with you. Yes, you will. <laughs> and I'm gonna look better than this. I'm gonna look better than this. I'm gonna make sure. That... <laughs> All right, Karen. One more time. Get on your Facebook page. L. Karen. Period. Kaya. Period. Three ninety five. And there you have it. All right, Karen. Boo. Kimmy post out with goes, honey. Yes, love. I love everybody on the show. See so you're definitely one of the, you are definitely a Kendra cousin. Woo. Yeah. Kira said, your hoes ain't even on her level. You hoes ain't on Kira's level. Y'all on my show talk about some, you want a six-figure man. What? Kira said, nah, B, you have to be able to give me six figures to buy my son a house. Don't leave the money on the dresser. Nope. I thought I was trying to make be clear because there's down payment for a house. And then, of course, the entire house. Now, I don't know how much houses cost in Philadelphia. Someone told me about 200K. So she was she did not stutter. I wanted to get clarity. That is the requirement. Ladies, set your requirement <laughs> came up evidently. Evidently, you ain't going strong enough. You ain't going hard, hard enough. Can't go hard and pay. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going, child. Let's keep going. Karen was one tonight, y'all. Yeah.